What's up boys and girls, it's your boy Tech Raj, and I'm back for another player review. Once again, if you want to interact with me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, the link to those sites are in the description below. And we got Chris Ivory, man. Chris Ivory is just a freaking tank, and you guys really love him. This is a fan favorite right here. You guys have been asking me for this one for a long time. You've asked me how he compares to a lot of the running back reviews that I've done. And finally, we're going to go ahead and bring that to you today. So once again, he's 93 overall, 6 foot, 90 speed, 84 agility, 94 acceleration, 99 carry, 94 ball carry vision, 82 elusiveness, 98 truck, 87 juke move. So this is obviously a downhill runner, a power back, if you will. He does have 94 acceleration. That's pretty beast. His catch isn't too great, but along with that 98 trucking, he has 99 stiff arm and a 90 spin move. So that's not bad at all. Now this is not a guy that I'm gonna line up at receiver. There'd be no need for that. I mean, his catch in traffic and catch isn't all that great. That's not what this guy does. You know, usually whenever you guys come and see these reviews, and what happens a lot in Madden is that a lot of people like to come in and try to just have big plays and big hitting plays. But this is him against Eddie Lacy. You guys really like Eddie Lacy, but this Chris Ivory just smokes him, okay? The reality is, is that Eddie Lacy card isn't that great. I'm sorry, don't get pissed at me, but it's true. Now, of course, Adrian Peterson is a lot faster, has a better juke move, but as you can see, Chris Ivory really stacks up a lot really well. Devontae Freeman is a really beast back. He's probably one of my favorite backs out right now, but he's more of a speed back. Imagine a combination of Devontae Freeman and Chris Ivory. And then flashback Steven Jackson pretty much gets beat almost in every category. But that's good, man. Devontae Freeman, ultimate freeze Devontae Freeman, and then Chris Ivory. But anyway, you guys know what the squad is. Let's go in for some gameplay. A lot of people ask me what playbook I run. It's a Saints playbook. The ebook that I've used is the Mad Daily playbook. Let's go ahead and give the ball to Chris Ivory backed up in our own end zone. The next play, second and five, we're gonna give it to him on the toss play, he's gonna go out. Almost gets caught, no, breaks a tackle, and he's off the races, breaks a second tackle. He's running down the sideline, run Chris, run, run, don't get caught from behind, and that's a touchdown. Wow, only 90 speed, but as you can see right there, had just enough speed to make sure that he took it all the way, and then right there breaks the tackle initially, and he's up the middle. Now we're up 14 to seven. I didn't show you the other touchdown because it was a long passing play, but right there you can see another broken tackle. And then he makes his way through the secondary as he breaks the tackle there too. Now we only ended up with a field goal on that drive. He lost a little gas. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this play because not just because Deshaun Jackson's the best receiver in Mutt right now, hands down, period, colon, equal sign, whatever you wanna say. But after that play, and then this play right here, and being gashed by Chris Ivory all game long in the fourth quarter, my opponent said the hell with this. I'm gonna cut the Xbox off. Now, remember what I told you before, a lot of you guys wanna find a running back that's gonna give you long running plays for touchdowns. Obviously I show you that with Chris Ivory, but that's not what's gonna annoy people. The fact that you just really can't tackle this guy and it's annoying to play with him, but he's shifty enough to do stuff like this is what's really gonna really just grind people's gears. It takes three and four people to tackle him. You're gonna bring one guy, think you have him stopped in the backfield, like this guy, and then he's just gonna break the tackle anyway. That was Ronnie Lott at strong safety, and he still broke the tackle. That's a super annoying. I've played against this guy, and it's really annoying to deal with. Look at that, they were trying to stop the toss play, but I would run it up the middle, and it's just really annoying for them to do it. No matter where we went, I mean, we were fine. Look at that. So this is really a beast player, like I get it now why you guys were asking me to review him over and over. It's not really, like a lot of these player reviews that you guys request, it's not to, so you can know whether they're good or not. Some of these guys, you just guys want to know, like, tech, see how good he is. So as you can see on that last play, it was fourth and goal from six yards out. I said, you know what, I'm just going to trust him, and I did. He stumbled into the end zone and made Let's go ahead in the third game, see what we're going to do here. Let's see if we can get some more out of Chris Ivory. At the beginning of the game, we're going to hand it off with the inside zone, and oh, damn, got smoked there, and he fumbled, but that was the only fumble that he had, guys. You know, 99 carry doesn't mean he's never going to fumble. He's going to fumble every now and then, and they're off balance after breaking a tackle. He just gets just, just rocked, and he did fumble, but that was the only time that he fumbled for me. On the next play, look at that. He just so rumbles, doesn't fall. I, 90 speed isn't bad for a running back, especially when he has 94 acceleration. That means he's going to hit the hole really hard. And next thing you know, like right there, 
he's going to get a first down for you. So in this game, believe it or not, he was actually bottled up a little bit. But I was still able to pull off large chunks right there. As you can see right there, just stacking the box. I was still able to bounce it outside, breaks the tackle, and gets the first down. That was a great second and one. One yard run there. And then right here, we're going to kick it to the outside. And look at that stiff arm. That stiff arm just got me like three and four yards after contact almost all the time. So we went with the screen play. And right there, he's going to go ahead and bring it into the end zone and put us up 21 to 7 and just take control in this game. Uh, right now, uh, on this gameplay, I'm actually in all Madden's second string. And then first and 10, my opponent throws it out. That's an interception. He's going to have enough. But guys, only three games on this one that I showed you. And as you can see, here's the verdict. Chris Ivory is not going to be consistently breaking 60, 70, and 80 yard runs for you. But let me tell you, what he is going to be doing for you is being consistent enough to make you a huge threat on the run okay if you have a pretty good passing game like I do it's gonna keep your opponent honest basically my strategy for these gameplay videos was run it on first and second down no matter what my success was and then as you guys see my passing scheme is good enough to where I'm just gonna hit you over the top so by the time I would pass on third down my opponents weren't ready for it and I kept bombing them deep and scoring touchdowns over the top because they just had no answer and that's demoralizing if you have somebody like Chris Ivory who even if you get somebody in the background backfield he's gonna break that first tackle and still probably get you a first down that's amazing this is amazing amazing running back okay one of the gems in Mutt right now I got him for 110,000 I sold him back for 110,000 that's about the rate that you're gonna get him at anyway like for more player reviews comment below for more ideas please give me more gems like this Thank you so much, Tech Raj Nation. Subscribe if you're new, but most importantly, take care of yourself. Peace. So he does have enough speed to be competitive, and then right here, as you can see, I mean, if he has a stamina, guys, listen, he is a fast back. He's going to get out there on some screen plays for you guys. All right, first and 10 on the next drive. Now we're up 14-0, and right there he completes that deep ball to Deshaun. Oh, come on, Tech. Look at that. But that is some like Deshaun Jackson type stuff. He would do something like that.